There are a lot of self-centered people out there, people who don't have integrity for themselves or for others. And there's a lot of people who will just follow the crowd and go along with everyone else. And today we're going to talk about where integrity comes from and what moving into the fifth dimension really means. Hello my beautiful friends, my name is Carrie Cox and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button and smash that bell notification button so that you can be notified when future videos are released. There's a lot of talk out there about how we are shifting from the 3D to the 5D and there's this thing, this term that's used called the 3D, 5D split and I'm going to be talking a lot about that because the messages that are coming into me are so clear and it's all about letting go, letting go of those 3D energies and making room for these new 5D energies and we're going to talk about that transition today a lot of you are probably transitioning from the 4D into the 5D. Some are going to be transitioning from the 3D to the 4D, and then some are just going to plainly be stuck in that 3D. We're going to talk about what that means and what it looks like to move into that 5th dimension. The 5th dimension is all about integrity. Our, when we are shining our light of our true authentic self, we are living in integrity for ourselves. And when we do that for ourselves, that spills out into doing it for other people. The way we can heal the planet and heal the world is to focus on our own self-healing. And when we go through this journey of healing ourselves, we become a better person and that spills and radiates out into the world and it actually uplifts the planet. You know, there's a lot going on in the world today in 2021 and when you look at what's going on and the division and the separation that's happening, it's because we're all wounded, each individually we are all wounded. We need to heal that separation within us, move ourselves into the 5D and as we do that, you will see a big shift in the planet. It's an exciting time to be here on Earth right now and I believe we all chose to be here because we are here to help shift the planet into that fifth dimension. So if you feel a calling to be on this self-discovery journey where you're healing your own inner shadows and inner wounds and you're letting go of this old paradigm, this old system that's been that's been conditioned and programmed within you, it's because you're here to purposely do that for yourself so that you can help as a collective heal the collective energy so it really starts at home with us first and then you will see a shift in the collective so let's talk about you know this world at large right now seems really dark there's a there's a lot going on in the world and my motto for the last few years has been I'm just going to stand grounded and strong in my own space and I'm going to let the chaos happen around me and if I can just focus on me and keep myself aware of what's going on out there in the darkness because you don't want to be totally blind to what's going on. You want to stay aware but not allow it into my space. So 2021 has been a year of letting go and I believe that in 2022 we're going to see a whole lot of people start to wake up and emerge. And if you've been on a journey in 2021 where you've just been letting go of a lot of stuff, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. And when we look at the world at large, we see a lot of darkness, we see a lot of fear. But you know, this world is of light and dark, and it's about how we learn to balance and move through that darkness and into the light and learn to go through this ebb and flow because you're going to continuously move through the light and the dark. We can't always just be in the light and we need to learn how to navigate through both and find balance in both. When we're at that point of our life where we're still more in that 3D space, we're still more in the dark, we're more in that sleep state, then we don't have a whole lot of integrity. We're not really being true to ourselves. We are being a little more self-centered. We're more in our ego because that's what the 3D is. It's really our ego center. And when we turn on our own inner light, we turn on our integrity. So the integrity and the light are really connected. And we find integrity in that fifth dimension. And by being more and more in that fifth dimension and more and more in our own authentic true self, we start to radiate more and more light. We are 
clearing away the cords of the past, we're clearing away the dark and we're bringing in more and more light. As we're doing our own healing work, we're letting go of our masks. We're letting go of all these false personas that we've built up and we're shining more and more of our true self through instead of hiding behind these masks. We start to embrace our inner weirdness and it, the reason it, I look at it as that is because to the outside world, it seems weird, but you know, this is really, you're really in flow with your true state. It's everyone else who has been shut down. So if you are radiating your inner weirdness, you're on the right path. The reason the rest of society might find it weird is because it's not the norm. You're not following the crowd. You're not just going along with everyone else because it's the cool thing to do or it's the in crowd. You are being yourself, which takes more courage, which is more vulnerability, and it leads more from an open heart. You're the leader of your own free spirit and soul, you're sovereign, you're not controlled by the group. And this is the goal we want to get to. See, the group follows the crowd because they're insecure and they have a lot of fear. But when you don't have those fears and you're not insecure and you're confident in who you are and you're confident in what you believe and you have true, authentic core values and beliefs and they're not the beliefs that were programmed and conditioned within you, then you have the strength and the courage and the vulnerability to be a leader, to stand in the front lines and to speak your truth with integrity, with courage and strength. And that is really embodying that 5D. You can only get here by walking your own journey and walking through the fire of your past, of your cords, of your repressed emotions. You have to walk through your own fire and clear the fire in order to build the resilience that needs to be built in order to stand in your power in the 5D. If you don't do the inner work, you're not gonna have the strength and the courage to stand strong and grounded in that 5D. So you're going to get to that fifth dimension and really struggle because the foundation hasn't been built properly. And so it's not something that happens overnight. It's something that progresses over years and years of growth. Most of us are going to work our entire lifetime trying to fully embody ourselves in that 5D. And once we do, the world's gonna look at us like we're weird because most people are not operating from the fifth dimension they're still in the 3D. And this is where that 3D, 5D split comes in. So let's talk about what that is. I have a little drawing here that I'm gonna show you. So our solar plexus is our third dimension. Now I didn't have a yellow marker, so I made it orange. But our solar plexus is our third chakra. It's part of our denser, more earthly chakras. So it's of lower vibration, but it's more of what grounds us here to earth. So it's more of an earthly chakra. So, and it's all about the self. That's why I said when you're still in the 3D, you're more self-centered because the 3D is all about the ego. You're stuck in those lower vibrations of ego and pride more so than when you get to the fifth dimension. So once you cross past ego, and in ego is where we're doing a lot of inner child uh, shadow work. So when you're doing shadow work and you're letting go of all the heavy and dense energies of the past, you're removing the block that's here between the 3D and the 4D, right? And then you're opening the 4D, which is where you come into the heart center. When you open that heart center, now you're starting to get in touch with your inner child. So I believe that the word inner child is code for our heart. It's our heart and inside of our heart is our soul. We, sh we are born with a pure and open heart, right? And, it, and we have zero programs. When we're born at age zero, we have zero programs. And in those first seven years is when we start to develop all of our programs and we're getting that from our caregivers and we're mimicking and mirroring our parents, our caregivers, our teachers, whoever it is in our life. That's who we are mirroring. 
And that's what's teaching us whether we're going to experience wounds or traumas or whether we're going to experience joy and unconditional love. And we all develop some sort of wounding that starts to close our heart down. And by the time we come into adulthood, huge majority of the population has now suffered from some sort of broken, closed up heart. So our heart is when we're born, our heart chakra, our fourth dimension is open and pure, but somewhere along the line it gets shut down. Then as we go into adulthood and we start doing all of these deep shadow works and we start healing ourselves and we start forgiving people, we start removing that block that allows us to open our heart. And maybe we come into some sort of circumstance that help us really open our heart. For me, it was meeting my twin flame, which helped me to open my heart center and heal all the blocks of the past. And now, since my heart is open, as I'm shifting, my vibration is raising and I'm doing things to raise my vibration, now I've started to bust into this block between the 5D and the 4D. And when we start to bust through these blocks and we start to blend more of our 4D into our 5D, we start to access these 5D energies. And these 5D energies are higher in vibration. So I drew this chart right here, which is the uh, power versus force, David Hawkins chart, which shows you different levels of vibration and how emotions are attached to them. So really the colors that go in here are really all the colors of the rainbow, but I didn't have all of the markers. So we're sticking with the major ones, with the, the more denser, heavier energies being red, those are gonna be things like shame, guilt, grief, and fear, okay? And we're gonna experience that more so here in the third dimension. You're gonna have these heavier, dense energies. But when you start healing that and you start shifting that, you start coming more into the fourth dimension. And in the fourth dimension, we have this green area here, which is neutrality. It's neutral energy because it's a little bit of both blended together. And if this third dimension chakra color was yellow, well, yellow and blue make green. So as the energies start to blend into the middle heart center, you start getting neutrality, neutral, a mix of both positive and negative. The fifth dimension is positive energy. The third dimension is negative energy. And in the middle, you have a blend of both. That's unconditional love. When we're stuck in these lower, heavier, dense emotions, and we're stuck in our ego, our pride, we are latching on to emotions like shame. Shame is the lowest vibration energy there is. So if you're carrying a lot of shame in your body, or in your aura, you are living in very low vibration because shame is the lowest vibration. Then we have guilt, grief, fear. These are all third density energies and below. And when you start to get more into neutrality, that's where you start to access courage and willingness. You find the courage to go on a healing journey. You find the willingness to look at those shadows and to heal them. That's when you start to open that heart center. Then maybe you do some inner child work and now you are really healing those inner child wounds. And the more and more healing work you do, the more you're starting to raise your vibration. Now you get into these higher vibration energies like acceptance. When we're able to accept what has happened to us in the past. It doesn't mean that we are saying what happened to us was right. It means that we are accepting what is, is, and there is no changing the past. There's only moving forward to the future. There's only accepting those things that have happened to us because when we're holding on to them, we're actually giving our power away. And if I'm giving all of my power away to people and circumstances and things that have happened to me, I don't have enough power to stand strong in my own power. How am I gonna stand strong in this 5D if my power sources are being broadcasted out there to people and places and events? I don't have enough for myself to stand strong. So it becomes 
this thing of letting go of these past energies so that we can find acceptance. Uh, reason, love, those are all also of this fifth dimension. When we start going higher than that, we start getting into joy and peace. And that only comes from accessing these energies in these higher vibrations. Okay, so you can see that the goal of being on this journey of, of changing and raising our vibration is to access these higher vibe emotions and energies that are out there for all of us to access. It's not that I'm more gifted than you and I'm accessing this. No, we all have the opportunity to access this. It just takes work. And through that work, you're letting go of those fears, those insecurities, and you're raising your vibration. Now, the collective consciousness, most of society out there, are going to be stuck in those lower vibrations. And they're going to project out their fears and their insecurities, and you just have to stand strong in your power. And the more power you take back, the easier it is to stand in your own truth, in your own convictions. I know that my ideas and my the things I value and stand strong against, it's because it's coming from this higher place of a higher vibration. Society coming up with these just crazy rules and regulations, those are coming from those lower energies. It's coming from a negative entity or egregore, or whatever word or label you want to attach to it, that's where it's coming from. It isn't coming from a place of unconditional love. It's coming from a place of something much more lower in vibration, which are going to be these lower vibration energies. When you come into your fifth dimension, you're fully accepting your true authentic self. Because remember, acceptance was what you can access once you get past neutrality, you start to experience acceptance. And when you can accept not only the things that have happened to you in life, but also who you truly are, and you can accept the gifts that you came into this world with, well, this just opens up a whole nother path for you. This path towards enlightenment, this path of ascension, opens up and you're able to access these gifts where your intuition becomes much more developed and heightened. You have more guides coming in to guide you down the right paths instead of taking these long windy paths. You're on more of a straight and narrow path because you have the right guidance and the right support system from the other side helping you get there. That's the whole point of being here is to come here and experience free will in the in the chance to have all these different earthly experiences so that you can find your way back to the right path and that guidance really starts to open up for you once you move out of that third dimension that third dimension is keeping you small because it's keeping you in that place of ego and you're more inclined to listen to the ego to be more black and white you can't see the gray in the middle because you're listening to the loud voice screaming at you that's just trying to protect you it's trying to protect your insecurities and your fears if you move past that you no longer have those fears or insecurities screaming at you trying to protect you and you're willing to listen to the guidance that's coming from a higher place, that higher self of yours, that higher guidance is guiding you. And that guidance doesn't bring fear and insecurities. It, it brings joy, peace, love, calmness. As we shift from the 3D to the 4D to the 5D, we're shifting on every level, mind, body, and spirit. What I have recently encountered is as I shifted from that 4D to that 5D, mentally and emotionally, it was easy to shift. It was easy for me to cut all the cords and to let go. My body has to catch up. My body can no longer hold on to these lower 3D vibrations, and so, I'm going to have to work on cleaning up my food and eating higher vibe foods because now my body needs higher vibrational minerals and energies inside of it because I have created so much 
light and so much space that now I need to take care of my physical body too. So we have to be really careful that we're finding balance between our mind and our body. We're not just doing the mind work, that we're also doing the physical body work too because the physical body needs to be able to exist here. This is just the vehicle driving around that spirit. So I can continue to raise the vibration of my spirit really high, but I also have to embody my body and help my body also catch up and be where the vibration of my mind is. There are people out there that as your vibration raises and as you access these higher energies that are gonna feel very threatened by who you've become because you are going to trigger their fears and insecurities even more because of the power you're going to possess. And so if you're feeling like people are really trying to bring you down or they don't understand you, I mean, that, those are normal ways to feel when you start accessing that 5D because in your inner circle and surroundings, you may be a lonely duck over there on that 5D island while everyone's still back there at the 3D. And in order for you to find common ground with them, it may mean you lowering your vibration down to your level. And at some point, you get to a point where you don't want to lower your vibration anymore. So you start cutting those people out of your life. So it's all about finding balance between the 3D and the 5D, which is in the heart space. Balance between the two is going to be in the center in the heart space. So as long as everything you're doing comes from a place of unconditional love and acceptance of all, then you are able to balance both sides. The more you transform your 3D, 4D, and 5D, and the more your heart begins to open, the more you are going to see past all of the illusions. You're going to start to see a bigger picture at play. And there's beautiful bigger pictures out there on every layer, like level. There's so many levels and layers. And you once you think you know the big picture, there's actually another bigger picture on top of that. And it's just layered upon layer upon layer. I don't know that we will actually ever get to see the big picture during our lifetime or not because every time I think I find the bigger picture, there's so much more above that. I mean, it's just infinite. And spirit is going to open you to higher powered knowledge the more of these lower vibrations you let go of. When you start really accessing these higher vibrations, you'll start to realize, you know, in the beginning of your journey, you start to see the oneness and everything and the connection between everything. But when you really start embodying that and you really start living that, you start to see it in everything. It's like everything you look at is embodying that oneness. Magical place to be in, but it only gets there by breaking down those old paradigms of the 3D, of the solar plexus, of the ego, and opening to that beautiful blue light of that fifth dimension of the of the throat chakra it's clearing those blocks between the heart and the throat and when you get to be a part of that you start to see your eyes start to open to deep deep truth there's like a wisdom and a knowledge that you become privy to that is just amazing like words can't even describe it but you can only get there by letting go and doing stuff like the way to let go would be doing cord clearing, getting energy work done, really going into that deep shadow work, that inner child work. That is how you raise your vibration to get to that level. The more and more you start remembering who you truly are authentically, that beautiful path unfolds in front of you and life becomes so much easier, there's less resistance, and you're guided down the path of your own purpose. And it's a beautiful and magical experience to have with Source. And this means that you are coming into your true power. And this is a power we all have a birthright to here on Earth. We were all born with this power, and we can come back to this power. So I encourage all of you to stand in your own power. Do some cord cuttings. I will leave some links below to some tools that may help you stand in your own power. I will leave some links to some tools below to help you stand in your power and to raise your vibration. Please hit the like button on this video. Share it with anyone who needs to see it. and. 
so be it.